All right, well, despite all the challenges the weather brought to Utah farms this year, farmers markets, well, they are doing well. And Christina Flores are letting people know what farmers are selling at this year's market. Nankle. Well, this year's very wet winter and spring created flooding and other issues for some Utah farmers. Despite the challenges, farmers will come through with fresh produce for farmers markets. That's a relief for many. Christina Flores with a preview of the biggest summer market in downtown Salt Lake. The downtown farmers market at Pioneer Park is about a week away now. Despite a crazy growing season, farmers from all over Utah will be there with produce for sale. These are carrots. Utah farmer Joaquim Haler's carrots are ready for harvest. There's an orange one. His Draper farm, called Full Tilth Farm, will have a lot to offer at summer farmers markets, including the one in downtown Salt Lake. Arugula, baby kale, big kale, chard, carrots, radishes, turnips. In a few weeks, his tomatoes will be ready for market too. The extended winter and continuing snowmelt affected planting on many farms in Utah this year. Of course, everyone's delayed. People are having a hard time getting stuff planted, which is is just part of the part of the gig, right? Joaquim says his crops caught up and are now ready for market. On June 3rd, we will have loads of produce. Carly Gillespie is with the Downtown Salt Lake Farmers Market. The nice thing about the Downtown Farmers Market is that we have farmers coming from across the state. She says there will be no shortage of produce when the Downtown Market opens on June 3rd, although July might see some delays. So maybe corn won't be on by the 24th, but it will likely be on the following week. Because inflation is everywhere, you should expect that some farmers could raise their prices at summer markets. I'm not going to raise my prices. I did so last year. Farmer Joaquim is excited to provide his customers with fresh, organic produce. We'll be ready to go. Well, for now, the crops that we know for sure got a late start on many farms because of the weather are onions and sweet corn. We'll know more as the season progresses and more summer markets open. Christina Flores, KUTV 2 News. I'll be waiting for those onions and sweet corn to my faves. Thanks, Christina. Okay, so we would like to hear from you at home. We sent out this poll question today asking, with inflated grocery prices, how likely are you to go shopping at a farmer's market or a roadside food stand? Right now, 42% say I plan to go more this year. If you'd like to weigh in, scan the QR code right there on the side, side of your screen.